In this video, we're going to look at formatting paragraphs and line spacing. So the first thing I need is some text, and I'm going to show you a really easy way to get text into a Word document. I'm going to type equals R-A-N-D, which stands for random, and then I'm going to say 3 comma 5. Now what that's going to do is it's going to give me some, quote, fingers in the air, random text and what it's really doing is it's pulling from the Microsoft help files it's going to give me text it's going to give me three paragraphs with five sentences each now without a space I'm simply going to hit enter so by hitting enter if you notice I get those three paragraphs and they have the sentences in them accordingly so let's go ahead and begin by looking at formatting paragraphs we're going to go right up here to the paragraph section and look at these items here. So first of all, by default in Word, unless you've reset it, paragraphs are going to be formatted in left alignment. Now what we can do is a lot of people will go ahead and they'll drag through the paragraph. Now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the show hide marks and the reason for that is we can then see this carriage return is what creates this paragraph. Now one thing we could do is we could come out here to the arrow, we could click, that's going to allow us to highlight a line. Anything we now do with that line, such as bolding that line, is going to happen on that line. I'm going to come up here and hit the undo button to undo the bold. The easiest way to highlight a paragraph I found is to triple click quickly in succession. One, two, three. That's going to highlight the paragraph. Now anything that I do with this paragraph is going to be changed. Now Anytime I'm dealing with some of the basic formatting, I just have to have my cursor inside the paragraph. So if you notice, we've talked about left align. Let's move over to, to center. If I click the center, it's going to center the, the text. If you notice, this would be hard to read, but we would use centering for something like a title, for example, or section or subsections of documents. Next right align is going to align everything to the right margin as shown here and then finally justify now justify is is what we find in books magazines newspapers etc it tends to be easier to read because it's aligning both right and left and adding additional spacing in order to keep that uniform so there are your paragraph formats i'm going to go ahead and take this back to left align now spacing to adjust the spacing if we come here to paragraph, now it's also right here, line and paragraph spacing. And if you notice, it has a little arrow next to it. That means there's more. There's more for us to see. From here, being in again in this paragraph, I can adjust the line spacing. Notice it gives me a preview so that I don't have to click on each one as I go through and show you the line spacing. So there's double spacing for things like reports, uh, technical documents, etc. And then also we have additional line spacing options as well as space before a paragraph or remove space after. So as you can see, adding adds some white space between my two paragraphs and removing removes that space after the paragraph. Okay, so if we go into line spacing, we can discover that we have the ability to do a lot of granularity here we can add an initial left indent, we can do right indents, we can mirror indents. So if we have a block quote, for example, we can mirror the indents on the paragraph. Spacing down here before and spacing after. So a lot of times if we're doing things like building a newsletter, we can adjust the spacing to make sure things fit on one page. All right, I think that's good enough for paragraph formatting paragraphs, left align, center, right align, and justify, and then of course adjusting spacing, single spacing, double spacing, and spacing in between. Take care.